Dear Jack's mum, I hope all is well where you are. I must say, things got a little concerning after Jack and Ferg deleted all the Shark Man films. I, um, I, I felt it. A shark con began to rumble in its very foundations. First, uh, merch and, and stalls collapsed. Limited edition DVD cases uh, crumbled into dust. And then the convention centre it, it ripped itself apart at the seams. Uh, the people were crushed under falling posters, their milkshake strewn across the floor. The screaming, impossible to bear. It honestly felt a bit like uh, the end of the world. But to my surprise, life here soon began to thrive. My routine now is a simple, humble affair. Every day I wake up early in the shark man head, which miraculously uh, survived the disaster, and I step out into the sun. Grass has begun to grow through the cracks in the linoleum floor. Trees and green shoots have wound their way into the rubble of the convention centre, and, and the wildlife has returned. My daily walk is always eventful. Sometimes a little baby lynx will dart through the trees, and other times tadpoles will cluster around my foot in a puddle. And always the bright sun, the bird song, and the beauty. Then at the end of my stroll, I, I find them. Uh, three wide-eyed little lambs with, with no mother to speak of, sat by a pool of crystal clear water. I kneel and I take out my bottle of formula milk and take them in my arms. Uh, they're, they're growing stronger by the day. But my dearest, I am not writing to talk to you of this glorious Eden that has landed on my doorstep, nor my family of baby sheep. I am uh, I'm writing to address something far more serious, the matter of our nuptial. Um, I've tried my best to, to show you my love, uh, as I love Jack's mum from, from my universe, but it has become clear that I, that I am not the man you want. Where your Chris once stopped at nothing for, for downloads and good reviews, I am at peace. Where he used to be intent on building a media empire from his, from his giant castle, I've been happy rooming in the Sharkman head with your son. Indeed, where he used to hate your son with a passion, I've shown him naught but love. And I, and I know that this has turned you off me, so to speak. You've been angry with me, uncommunicative, in fact. You've told me that I cannot replace your fiancé, that I'm not good enough for you. I mean, how can this be? <laughs> if I am truly good, Chris, why can't I be good to you? So I've spent my days in this Eden working on a little project. Naturally, Jack and Ferg's laptop survived the collapse, along with their extensive hard drive of uh, rival podcast episodes. They have every episode of, of the Chris and Chris podcast saved, and, and I had to know what it was you saw in him. What was it that I couldn't provide? And then I understood. I just wasn't a complete bastard. At first, though, I, I thought I could learn. I isolated every voice clip of the man and, and worked hard. After my morning stroll, I would return to the Sharkman head and pull out life-size cardboard cutouts of Sharkman's various friends and adventurers, and I'd try to undermine them. <laughs> I would laugh at them, I'd, I'd brag to them, call them boys, <laughs> but it wouldn't stick. I couldn't be the person you wanted, yeah. If I wanted to make you happy, I would... I would have to find a way to, uh, well, to, to bring him back. So, I took the isolated voice files, tagged with emotional and psychological addendums and notes, and I constructed them into, into a, a working digital consciousness, a complete reconstruction of the man you loved. He poured his heart and soul into that podcast. I just had to retrieve it with leftover bits of scrap metal from Shark Khan, and I am ashamed to say, bits of scrap flesh, I constructed a body, part man, part machine. 
It was a stormy night, the, the first bad weather we'd had in months when I plugged in the USB-C charger and turned him on. Lightning flash, rain beat down on my face through the now gaping holes in the Sharkon roof, but I stayed strong. I was doing it for you. I was doing a, a truly good deed, and then the two words I knew you longed to hear stuttered forth from the creature. Hello, boys. That's right, my dear. Bad Chris lives. At first he he, uh, he couldn't move or, or speak very much, and, and so I made sure he was comfortable. I, I sang him songs, I read him stories, I told him that you were out there, waiting. When he began to walk, I would trail behind him with his generator so the USB-C charger didn't, uh, didn't fall out. My, my morning walks became longer with my new companion. And where before I could stop and smell the flowers, now we, we left only destruction in our path. What struck me most was how much he how much he talked, the filth and vitriol he spat about rival podcasters, the, the hot deets about movies that came out in 2017, uh, the pure rage that, that Jack and Ferg had got the better of him. And the castle, he would he would not stop talking about the castle, his his pod castle, a, a new base of operations, he said, where he would return to the throne and, and I would be but a but a lowly servant. How he would rebuild his podcasting empire and I would be at his feet helping him to do so. When I said I, I wasn't so sure about that, that I, I was actually rather keen to get home, he screamed at me. He, he broke a DVD in half and held, held the sharp edge to my neck. I mean, it's understandable. It really is, considering the circumstances. Needless to say, I am I'm scared to tell him of the current crisis. All the Sharkman films deleted, uh, Sharkman Studios and Meltdown and Jack and Ferg, well, missing. I will tell him eventually. I'm, I'm just trying to find the right uh, moment. But I, I fear the consequences. Was this, was this a mistake? I fear I've made something truly awful. An abomination in defiance of God. The world is waking up, my dear, but I fear he may drag it back down into a, into a pool of hate, and destruction, and, and movie news. It's hate that keeps him alive. Hate and, and also his USB-C charging cable. Oh, but, but it matters not. I was, I was placed in this dimension to do good. And to act out of love is the greatest good there is, surely. Anything for you, my dear, anything to make you happy. I will bring him to you and you will be reunited. He... <laughs> he killed and ate one of the lambs yesterday. Uh, he doesn't even need to eat. Um, he just, and I quote, did it for the downloads. <laughs> You'd like me to tell you, he's looking forward to the wedding. Your faithful servant, good Chris.